Hello and welcome to the next lecture. Okay, so we just went over the basics of a bone. Now I'm gonna go over the basics of bone binding, okay? Or layer binding or rig binding or however you wanna call it, okay? Because there's actually a lot of different binding. There's a combination of point and layer. Uh, there's the flexi binding, which consists of the bone strength. But all we're gonna cover in this lecture is the flexi binding, okay? And I'm gonna cover the very basics of it. I'm not gonna tell you how to rig this quite yet. I'm just gonna tell you how flexi binding works. Okay, so never mind how I have all these set up on the side here, my group. That's just basically so I can move the whole group so it looks nice for presentation for the lecture right now. But I'm gonna open up this layer, okay? And I'm gonna I have my bone layer right there, okay? So this is the most important. So my left arm bone is this one right here, okay? And as you can see here, this arm is a little bit different from the other ones. These ones kind of have more type joints. This is more smooth and noodly. And this is what flexi binding is used for, for these noodly type arms if you're going for that effect. Okay? So, as you can see here, I just have a really simple shape just that I drew up. And I'm going to add some points. So with my add points tool, A on the keyboard, I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to click and drag. And I am going to click and drag. Each time I'm releasing at those, at those points there. If you need kind of a more specific way, I'll go into this more later, but Anime Studio allows you to have a wire tool, which is really cool uh, to be able to see where your points are being dragged to. Okay, so that helps, but I kind of knew where the points were uh, as I was looking at my drawing there. So that's pretty cool to know for future reasons. I drew out this whole bone binding here. Let's see what it does. Okay, looks pretty, oh, that looks pretty bad. And you're probably going to get that result going that way with the arm. It's not going to be universal binding. Uh, we'll have to use what's called smart bones, which I'll get into later. But as far as what we need, that looks quite all right. But do you know what? You don't want to have your strength so high as I have it right now. What you want to do is you want to have each bone. So for example, let's select this bone. So I selected the bone with uh, B on my keyboard, the select bone tool right there. So when you have more than one bone, you use your select bone. And I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to bring up the strength again. Okay, so I don't want the strength to be any more larger than this area here that this bone is controlling. So let's go ahead and let's just shrink that down. Okay. So right now, this is being influenced greatly by the forearm, so there's little to no movement right now. So let's fix the forearm. And let's fix the bicep. Okay, so as you can see, it's moving a little bit better. Let's see how it bends. It bends all right, so you kind of got that noodly arm effect. There's not any like joints. There's not any um, hard edges, I guess. It's just smooth and noodly like. <laughs> I don't know how how else to explain it. Okay, but we're gonna do this. So right here. I can see that this is kind of having a weird effect right here. So with my manipulate spool, uh, points tool, sorry, with my manipulate bone tool, I actually, I just move this to right there. And I'm gonna go hit S on my keyboard again with my strength. And I'm just gonna adjust the strength a little bit. Just play with it a little bit here. So as you can see, if you release the strength too much or take out the strength altogether, it's not going to influence that area whatsoever. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more strength. And add a little bit more strength. Okay, so you kind of got to play with it, but that looks like that's all we're going to be able to do is just bind those areas there. And that's going to give you some basic arm movement going forward, okay? So that's going to be your basic arm movement for just almost bending, okay? So something really cool with the Anime Studio, I'll get into this later, but there's smart bones to fix that so it's not so ugly. Fix that so it doesn't crease right there. But that is flexi binding, okay? So flexi binding is basically, in a nutshell, controlling a region or flexing a region uh, with these strength, uh, uh, sorry, with the sh bone strength here. So right here, if I increase that and I go to manipulate it, that bone strength is gonna is gonna control a lot. All right. 
Um, if I go here and I just decrease that a little bit, that's going to have a lot less influence and it's only going to influence those points probably here on the, that knuckle right there, thus giving that warping effect, okay? So if I increase it just a little bit more, just to cover the whole hand, you get a little bit more of a smoother hand movement. All right, so that is all I'm going to explain for flexi binding. Just know that it is controlled by your bone strength, okay? Because not all of them are. This is basically the only one that is. Um, and you can get some really cool results with that noodle arm type effect. All right, so that's it for this lecture. The next one we're going to cover is the liar binding, so stay tuned.